So I just got a scam call in, in my phone just minutes ago. Folks, Fernando doing another video for more survivalists. I have written about this in my books. I have done videos in the past, but it's probably been a while. Anyway, the thing is this. You have to be extremely careful. Emails, phone calls, uh, text messages. Don't accept, don't click on anything until you're absolutely 100% certain you're talking with the right people. The one that I just called, actually, they claim to be of the company that I have my phone with. It's the, the, the same uh, phone company that I actually have, but they did not know my name. So, uh, I'm from da, 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 da company. I need to talk with, with a, the main line holder, whatever the thing is. Uh, and, and I was like, who do you want to talk with? The, the, the contract holder. Yes, but who would that be? Oh, don't worry, sir. Bye-bye. It was not the company. So what they do is they check, of course, the most, the, the biggest, most common companies. I don't know what, it, you know, AT&T, whatever bank it is. Yeah, that's the biggest one around. Um, they call or they send messages or emails claiming to be from these institutions, even from, um, from uh, Microsoft, MSN, Hotmail. Oh, your Hotmail account will be reset. Uh, you need to update this information. It's a fake email. Check every email. Make sure it, it's exactly who it says it is. Don't just look at the email itself. Make sure the source. And there's ways in which they even trick that, making small changes. You first need to verify all of it. Uh, my advice is, if there's anything that you're requiring in terms of uh, bank information, updating payments, clicking on anything on your end, on your PC, and helping you out fix your connection. Anything like that, when there's even the slightest doubt, just ask for a number, hang up, go on your own end, on your own papers, your, 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 or even go online and find the phone number of that company online, call them yourself, and that way you will verify that's the real number, not the number that the guy was giving you, okay? So, all of this is, is crucial so as to avoid these common scams. They will, you know, they're very good at tricking you into, oh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's my bank. What? No, someone is trying to steal money. Yes. We, did you just extract $1,000 from your bank account? They are, you know, we're calling from Bank of America, whatever the hell it is. Oh, Yes. Oh, did you just make a thought? No, I did not. Oh, maybe someone's trying to steal from you. All of these things put you in a position of uh, of fear, of being concerned, and then they start working on you. I had one call me from my internet provider. It was actually the, you know, they nailed it. They got the name right. They said, yeah, we're from the company. Uh, is your internet a little bit slow? Oh, why? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little bit slow. Okay. I'll help you out, update the settings so as to have uh, a better connection. It was all a scam. Fortunately, I knew it was, and the only thing I did was keep on working on other stuff and you know doing th things on, on, on my computer while just saying, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Did you put these numbers, sir? Yeah, yeah, just did, yeah. It's not working? No. While I did none of that and only managed to waste about half an hour or maybe an hour of his life uh, while I did something else until he realized I wasn't doing anything. But the point is, be very careful with emails, messages, any of these things, even if they claim to be from the companies that you actually uh, are a client of, okay? See you next time. Take care.